Hello. Hi, welcome back to Spice and Easy. Another one of our spice packs for you today. This one. Mmm, Thai green curry. You know you want it. So, this one. If you've already seen the Sri Lankan fish curry, cook the same way. You saw how easy that was. If you've not seen it, why? Why? Why are you not watching the videos? Watch them all and like them and subscribe. Thai green curry, easy to do. Tastes like a Thai green curry, funnily enough. All you need to make this one, onions, tin of coconut milk, chicken or veg, you can do a veggie version if you want. Additives in this one, none. Herbs and spices, that's it. Look at your tins of ready done horrible Thai green curry sauce, or even if it's already made. Your ready made ones in your chilled department, your supermarket, your takeaway even. You'll find some additives in there. You won't in this. Healthy for you. Really, really quick to do. If you've not seen the Sri Lankan fish curry, watch it. You'll see that this is done exactly the same way. Or if you watch this one first, and you want to cut the Sri Lankan, watch this, watch that, the same way. Easy to do, tastes really, really nice, mild strength, so again, suitable for everybody, unless you cannot stand any heat whatsoever, because um, it's only a mild strength, but then you can contact us and we can make you one up without the chilli in. Not say fairer than that, can you? So, let's get straight onto this, I've waffled on enough. Thai green curry, let's get it done the spice and easy way. Catch you in a moment. So, here we are, reading down your instructions for the Thai green curry. That's it, that's all there is to it. Not really. Um, so, what you need, one medium large onion, finely chopped, done. 60 ml of cooking oil. Uh, now, I'm not going to do that because, which I've left out of arm's reach again, I'm going to use the spray. Uh, going back to what I said, I've been told, I don't know if it's true, you'll have to check up. This is rapeseed oil, supposed to be more healthy than olive oil. I don't know, if you know for sure, drop comments below and let us know so I can stop making myself look an idiot and giving you the wrong information. Um, one 400 milliliter tin of coconut milk. Done. I've got the light one again, so healthy eating, that's why I've got this stupendous figure. Um, any coconut milk would do. Spice pack, don't forget that. One spice pack. Um, next we have, now, your chicken, prawns, whatever you want to do. The chicken obviously going to seal first and you can probably hear that sizzling away in the background. Um, I'm not doing this as a veggie one but you can. You could use peppers um, and also what I've got here which is, uh, I'm going to say it right, Monge 2, sound like Del Boy, Monge 2 um, and baby corn. There are about 14 of these, there is a few left in the packet but there's going to be too many. Nine baby corn, why nine you say? Well if you've got odd number phobia, well, I must, there must be a name for that, um, there is only nine in the packet. So what I've done is I've cut them in half lengthways. So, you've not got 9 really, you've got 18. 18 small ones now, because I've cut them. And salt and pepper to taste, that's it. That's all the ingredients you need for Thai green curry. If you want to do away with the, the chicken, which is sizzling away over there. Um, put these peppers, uh, any other veg that you really like. And you've got a veggie Thai green curry. It's veggie friendly, vegetarian friendly. Um, because all that's in here is herbs and spices so don't panic if you think I'm not having meat, not having fish, not having prawns I can't have Thai green, yes you can just put your veg in and that's it uh, I'm doing chicken and veg so let's get on with it shall we Thai green curry, let's do it what are you looking at? why ain't you put them in? 
He's missed them out. He always has them. Not having them in this one. He's going to have a Nile curry. Why you missed them out? Can't you take it anymore? Well, just for you. Chilies, yes. There is some chilies going in. Just thought I'd tell you that because when you see the onions frying, you're going to say the onions have got green bits in them. It's the chilies that I'm adding just to make it hotter than mild because we don't eat mild curries. So, well, we do sometimes, but not very often. We like a bit of heat, a bit of kick, a bit of chilli. So, without this, it's mild. With this, it's going to make it medium hot. So, add the chilies if you want. If you don't, you want to add them. Right, cooking. So, onions frying away. As I said, the green bits. It's not mould, it's chilies. Should have paid attention on the last bit. I always put chilies in. Well, nearly always. 99% of the time. And the other 1% we don't. Now, again, I'm using spray oil, so you do have to keep giving it a little squib. A little squib here and there. Just to get these onions going away. So, on your ingredients then. Heat oil over a medium heat. Fry finely chopped onions until soft. There's only one, two, three, four, five lines I think of instructions to this one. Told you it was simple. Now they're just about done. So, your next stage, add spice back to softened onions. Add splashes of water to make a smooth paste. Jump cut there, what do you think that was? Forgot the water, do it every time. Now, when you're doing these, any spices, they will give off. You fill that out there. Boo! Try, try again. If at first you don't succeed, they will give off fumes. <coughs> so don't stick your head over the pan because it makes you cough like that. And trust me, if you ever cook the reaper, you don't want to be doing that because you'll be wiped out for about three days. So, as with the Sri Lankan, that paste doesn't take long. If you're doing this yourself and you're not waffling like me, this you can have this curry done in 15 minutes. So that's that's that bit done. Just get rid of a bit more of that water. Doesn't make the paste like the others where I say look for the glaze. Doesn't happen as much with this, A, because there's not as much spice. And B, because I'm using the spray, you don't get that separation as much from the oil. And the spices. So that is about there. Doesn't look very green, does it? Of course it does. Now, next, gradually add the coconut milk while stirring. Now, idiot here, forgot to give it a good shake. So, I don't know if this is all going to come out. If it doesn't, you're going to hear me scraping the can out. But do remember before you open the tin, Shake it like crazy. Shake it, baby. I think there's a song in there somewhere. Shake it, baby. Sure there was. Right. Coming together now. Look, that's only a bit of the coconut milk. If you don't want it to splash everywhere like that, Put it in the jug first, because if you're a klutz like me, it'll go everywhere. I'm not the cleanest when I'm cooking, tidiest I should say. It does tend to splash everywhere and then there's a load of cleaning up to do, but I don't know. If they weren't cleaning up to do, what's the point in Fiona? <laughs> you tell she's not here. And I ain't letting her watch it back either, so nobody tell her. Now, here's the problem if you don't shake it. It looks like 
the bottom, or second half of the can actually, is now, it's just like water. But don't worry, it's coconut water. So, put that in as well. But what it has done is it's saved me having to scrape the can out because all that was at the bottom and not lumps of coconut. So, we've added that. That looking like a Thai green curry now, or what? Is it? Next on your instructions, simmer the sauce for approximately 20 minutes. Add your chosen fish and simmer until the fish is cooked through, or chicken obviously as well. And that's it. So what I'm going to do now, because I'm using chicken, I'm going to add it now. If you're using fish, you need to get it so as it's more or less the consistency you're looking for, which is not much different to this anyway, because Thai curries are quite runny. Um, and then lay your fish on top or your prawns, just let them cook thoroughly. But because I'm using chicken, which won't come out the pan, there we go, again one handed, that's probably, <laughs> that was sealed but I think I left it too long while I was messing about doing silly jump cuts. Um, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Is that done? No. Because now I'm adding these. So these are going to go in at the same time as the chicken because the, the vegetables obviously you want it to cook a bit longer. I know the mons too, mons too Rodney. I know the mons too don't take that long. The baby corn, they don't take a lot longer anyway. But So I'm going to simmer that. I'll come back, show you the finished product, how long it took for the vegetables to cook, which is basically all you need to do on this now. The sauce will slightly thicken and that's it. Like my spoon. It's back again. The age old spoon's back. So that's it. I'm going to simmer that for a bit and I shall see you very shortly. So that's been simmering now for oh, 20 minutes. And that's it. Look, green. Thai green curry and it's green. So vegetables, chicken, looking really nice. And that is all there is to it. So simple this one. So I'm now going to splash it everywhere while I try and dish it up. There is enough in here for two people. Easily. Uh, Probably get three from it. Told you I'm going to splash it everywhere. Such a klutz. <laughs> and again. What you tend to do, because I'm looking through the camera, is I can't see that the spoon's not level, so. All the sauce is dripping everywhere. So let's get some of the, uh, the sauce in there. As I say, it is runny. That's what Thai curries are like. Very, very runny. Or thin sauce. More of that in there. Still got all that left and what's in this dish will easily do one to two people. So we'll quickly jump over so you don't see where I've dripped it everywhere. And there we go. Look at that. Thai green curry. You got your monge, two rodneys there. Your baby corn, chicken and all this lovely sauce and so easy to do that one 20 minutes once you've turned it down to simmer and that's all there is to it let me just uh, just have a little sample hmm that's nice all the flavors coming through you got that coconut taste you've got all the herbs coming through the spices that go in it and it's not got that overly sweet, sickly taste you get from the ready-made ones that's got additives, sugars, MSG, all that stuff in there that you don't want. 
Thai green curry. That's it. Easy to do. Simple. Try it. You'll love it. Let's go to final thoughts. So, quick recap then. Thai green curry. All that's in the pack. Herbs, spices, no sugars, colouring, salt, additives of any sort. Proper, healthy Thai green curry as you get in Thailand. Not with your additives that they... I know they have to put them in there for preserve to preserve it, should I say. Um, if it's sat on the shelf for a while, then it needs to be in there. Um, but we don't need to use them because we have a constant flow coming in and out on our spice packs. We can get away with just the herbs, the spices, and you have done when they're nice and strong tasting. Mild strength, suitable for everybody. It's a real nice flavour. Um, it is mild. If you want it hot, I'll do what I did today and just put extra chilies in there. You can finely chop them like I did. You can cut them long ways in half so that you've got more of a hit at one go. And that's all there is to it. Do try this one. It is really nice. You will see a difference from the jars of stuff that you get. And you'll have a proper taste in Thai green curry. If you like what you've seen, don't forget, click the like button. Subscribe to us. Drop your comments below if you've got anything you want to ask us or anything you want to tell us. And if you know if rapeseed oil is a lot healthier than olive oil, because this is just what I've been told. Um, drop those comments in as well. Don't forget, subscribe and share. That's all for now. Spice and Easy signing off. Yet again, we'll catch you later.